you can look around your seats. We have a missing iPod. If you can bring that up to the uh, press box, we'd appreciate it. Thank you.
To Dakota Thomas, we're so proud of you, Danny and Papa. Dakota Thomas, great job, we love you, Jeannie and Papa. To Bethany, I'm so proud of you. Play that funky flute music. I love you bunches. Go grab the marching band from Mama. Eve Shelton, I love you, Eve. Good luck. Bobby Ugly. To Adam Hill Connick, we are all proud of you and love you from Mom, Dad, Tim, Tim TJ, Andrew, Eden, and Adrian. From the Hawks, I don't always hang out on football fields, but when I do, it's to watch the marketing Hawks, Andy and Roxanne. To Alyssa and Lexi Lamb, we love you guys so much. Great job this season. From Jamie, Dakota, and Bradley. And now, a fun fact for our band director. Everyone listening? In the year of our Lord, 1908, in the village of Cornwall, England, during the most savage storm the tiny village had ever experienced, Mrs. Harris was born. To this very day, the old timers speak in the tradition of the old Cornwall folklore tale of blonde haired, blue eyed baby girls who wreak havoc and destruction and are to be avoided at all costs. At one and a half years of age, she realized the whole of England could not contain her ambitions, and Miss Harris left into the freezing waters of the Atlantic and swam to America. The villagers of Cornwall rejoiced. Can you hear me? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> this event commemorated with the annual Cornwall Independence Day celebration, which is done all throughout England as a lovely festival where many pints of Dr. Pepper are consumed and there are absolutely no public displays of affection. In this new world, she discovered an affinity for hitting things, mostly people, from which she developed a love of percussion. Upon studying at Christopher Newport University, her tenacious spirit prevailed while taking charge and conducting the Mighty Captain Band up to glory. As a young university student, Mrs. Harris met and married the most intelligent, patient, occasionally prompt, kind, loving, and let's not forget good-looking man the good Lord ever saw fit to place on this earth. I wonder who wrote this letter. 
And this new role of spouse, she discovered an affinity for yelling, mostly at her husband, from which she developed a love of teaching. While she spent many, many long years molding young minds with her love of music, she and her husband will have four children of their own, each as destructive and violent as she had been. <laughs> Mrs. Harris, after years of honing and sharpening the skills of yelling and hitting things, would go on to discover that through these natural talents, she was the perfect person to successfully lead your award-winning Gretna Marching Hawks to glory! Did we come? This year's Grand Hawks Awards were at the Glenburg Sub Celtic Classic third place guard and favorite band director. At the Becker County Invitational, the band took second place visual ensemble, second place general effect, second place visual performance, and favorite band director. At the Cavalier Classic at Lord Botton High School, the band took first place general effect. First place marching, second place percussion, third place guard, third place music, third place drum major, and first place band in single A division and favorite band out of single A and double A band. Great job, Greta Marching Halls! It's big. So we need one person to draw to get out of the All right, at this time we're going to have a 50 50 raffle drawing. The prize for the winner today is seventy dollars and fifty cents, and that goes to ticket number five four nine four zero five two. Do we have a winner? Five four nine four zero five two. Bring your ticket to the press box. Right on the back of that ticket, what it is. So you'll know.